Welcome, kids, to Mr. Lund's Fort. So I know you've all made forts. I used to make forts, too. Um, Cecilia made this fort for me. There's Tanner the cat. He wants to get in my fort. So it is story time. And get your PJs on. So I'm wearing my very special Packer shirt. Go Pack! Um, this this is a 15-year-old t-shirt. It's very special. And my sleep pants and my slippers. Okay. So, settle in. Here we go. Into the fort. And look, there's a book in here. in the fort. So this book is called Good Night World by Andrea Lynn Beck. It's bedtime here in my home on the sea. We're snug in our bunks, my brother and me. I'm thinking of you, wherever you are. If we look up, will we see the same star? Is it night where you live? Are you going to bed too? Are you under the covers in Timbuktu? Where do you sleep? In a cot? On a mat? In Africa? Asia? The Aussie Outback? Are you in the Antarctic or Europe, perhaps? North America? South America? Let's look at our maps. I wonder about the place you call home. Is it inside a cave or shaped like a dome? Is your house made of brick? Does your roof have a goat? Maybe you live in a house that can float. Do you sleep in a yurt? Or a tree house high? Perhaps you sleep way up in the sky. Is your roof made of straw? Are your walls made of mud? Is your home up on stilts in case of a flood? Wherever you sleep, wherever you are, I'll think of you when I look at that star. Our world is so big and sometimes so small. It is our home. Good night to us all. Good night to me. Good night to you. Good night to us and our world too. And that is the end of our book. All right, it's nighttime. Go to sleep. Here's my pillow.